Hey guys, welcome to vteachacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to learn how to find the domain of a function. So in our previous videos we have discussed about functions and also the rules to find the domain of a function. So here let us consider an example and we have find the domain of the function f of x is equal to root of x square minus 3x plus 2 and the function g of x is log x square minus 4x plus 3. So first let us consider the function f of x is equal to root of x square minus 3x plus 2. So this is in the form of root of f of x and it is defined only when f of x is greater than or equal to 0. So let us consider the function here x square minus 3x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. And now let us find the factors of this expression by the factorization method. So first let us multiply the coefficient of x square and the constant term. By multiplying here 2 into 1 we get 2 times 1 is 2. And now let us write the factors of 2 we get 2 into 1. So now we have to add or subtract these factors so that their sum must be equal to the coefficient of x. So here we have minus 3. So if we add here minus 2 and minus 1 it will be equal to 3. So we can write this expression as x square minus 2x minus x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. And now here let us take x as a common factor from the first two terms we get x into x minus 2 and by taking here minus 1 as a common factor we get minus 1 into x minus 2 greater than or equal to 0. Now let us take x minus 2 as a common factor we get x minus 2 into x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. So by this we can say that x belongs to minus infinity comma 1 union 2 comma infinity. So therefore the domain of the function would be all the real numbers except 2 and 1. And now let us consider the function g of x is equal to log x square minus 4x plus 3. So here if the expression x square minus 4x plus 3 belongs to r then x square minus 4x plus 3 must be greater than 0. And now let us find the factors of this expression by factorization method. Here we have the coefficient of x square as 1 and we have the constant term 3. So by multiplying here we get 3 and we have the factors of 3 as 3 into 1. Now we have to add these factors so that their sum must be equal to minus 4. And here minus 3 and minus 1 would be minus 4. So we can write this expression as x square minus 3x minus x plus 3 greater than 0. And now let us take x as a common factor from the first to two terms we get x into x minus 3 minus 1 into x minus 3 greater than 0. Now let us take x minus 3 as a common factor. We can write this as x minus 3 into x minus 1 greater than 0. So by this we can say that x belongs to minus infinity comma 1 union 3 comma infinity. So therefore the domain of the function would be all the real numbers except 3 and 1. So this was a basic introduction on how to find an example on domain of a function. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vteachacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.